Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julie. I am a mom to five, so we are a family of seven, and I'm gonna share with you in today's video a week of dinners. No dietary restrictions around here. We do try to eat healthy, whole foods as much as we can, and so in today's video, I'm gonna show you six meals, Monday through Saturday. Today's video is a collab with my friend Mariah from her channel, Mariah Babcock. She has a channel where she shares a lot of food videos, gardening videos, day in the life videos with her family, and so I will link her video down in the description below. She will also be sharing a week of dinners, and I hope you'll check that out after you're finished watching my video. So to start off our week of dinners, it is Monday today. For the very first time this fall, I am making a sheet pan dinner. This is one of our favorites, so I was excited to get back, back into these fall meals. This dinner idea is so versatile, you can basically just choose whatever meat and veggies you want, put them on a sheet pan with some oil and spices, and bake it. It's as simple as that. So for today's meal, I am gonna chop up some potatoes some sweet potatoes, and I'm also gonna put some pork chops on my pan. I put coconut oil over all of these, as well as salt, garlic powder, and paprika. Because my coconut oil isn't melted, I like to just stick my pan into the oven for like two minutes, then I pull it out, the oil is melted, and I can just give everything a good mix. I put this into the oven at 425 for about 30 minutes, and it's done, and it is delicious. I love that this meal creates very few dishes. It's really just my cutting board and the sheet pans. I love how simple that is. On Tuesday, I started my dinner prep a lot earlier in the day because I wanted to get this chili into the Instant Pot. I put it on the slow cooker setting and it will cook all day. So first of all, I chop up my onions and then I add my ground beef into my Instant Pot. I put it at the saute setting. This is one of my very favorite things about the Instant Pot is that I can saute my meat, my onions, then I can put everything else in and slow cook all in one dish. No need to use an extra pan for the sauteing. As my meat and onions are cooking, I am going to start opening up my cans. I just got a new can opener and I couldn't believe how well this one worked. My old one just kind of got progressively worse and you just don't realize how slow and hard it is to use that getting a new can opener is amazing. So I am going to open two cans of diced tomatoes, two cans of kidney beans, two cans of tomato paste. I am going to add those to my meat and onions once they are cooked through. I'm also going to add some garlic, chili powder, onion powder, just a little bit of stevia, salt, and some corn. This is going to cook all day. And then when it's dinner time, I'm just gonna grate some cheese. I'm gonna get out some sour cream and we're also gonna have some of these crackers on the side. That is dinner tonight. Wednesday's dinner is quick and easy. This is my homemade macaroni and cheese recipe. I don't have a recipe really. I've just kind of um, created this over time and this is how I like to make our macaroni and cheese. So first of all, I'm gonna start by um, cooking our, our macaroni noodles. While those are cooking, I'm going to grate some cheese as well as slice some kielbasa. That's the meat I'm gonna put into this macaroni today, but you can use whatever meat you want. Sometimes I'll do ham, sometimes I'll do bacon bits. Today, it's kielbasa. Once the noodles are cooked and I have drained them, I'm going to add a bit of butter, let that melt, add my cheese and let that melt, and then I add kielbasa, pepper, some sour cream, and some milk. I'm gonna get all of that mixed together. I also have some peas cooking as well. I also chopped up some tomatoes. My husband and I like to have chopped tomatoes on top of our macaroni rather than ketchup. The kids will definitely have ketchup on theirs. This is a very well-liked dinner in this house. Most of my kids will probably have a second helping. Thursday is our busy night of the week, so my kids, all four of my oldest kids, have sports on Thursday nights. So often I will cook something in advance, like a slow cooker meal, and we'll eat when we get home. But we don't get home till like 6.45 or close to seven, so sometimes I do that. Other days I just make some sandwiches and we can eat um, in the van on our drive home. So that's what I chose to do for today. Andrew will get home at some point during this, and I think he's just gonna grab some leftovers 
leftovers out of the fridge because uh, we have quite a few leftovers from the past couple nights that he can choose from. But this way we can get home and the kids can get to bed still in all right time. So here's what we're doing for supper. I am going to get some cinnamon raisin bagels and toast them. I wait until they've cooled down and then I'm gonna put cream cheese on them. I sliced up some of these apples. They are huge apples. I have never seen apples this big. I got all the kids' lunch boxes out and I am just going to put this into their lunch boxes, make it really simple. So we have their bagel, some apple slices, and a brownie. <laughs> Healthy, right? No veggies with this meal. I find it a little bit hard to do veggies when we do like a cinnamon raisin bagel so no veggies this is what our meal is my supper on the other hand is quite healthy I'm having a salad in my salad I have some tomatoes cucumbers boiled egg some grilled chicken and some feta cheese and then I have some ranch dressing that I will put on that for Friday's dinner, I am once again doing a Instant Pot slow cooker meal. So I'm doing this early on in the day. First, I chopped up some onions. I'm gonna cook up some of this beef. I just got a roast out of the freezer. I didn't have any beef cubes. So I'm just gonna chop this roast up into cubes and cook that with the onions. And then I chopped up some of these butternut squashes. These are from our garden. They did not grow very big. So while the recipe calls for one butternut squash, I am going to cook up three here. I'm also going to chop up some carrots. That's all going to go into the Instant Pot as well as some beef broth, diced tomatoes, minced garlic, chili powder, paprika, oregano and salt and pepper and that is going to slow cook again all day long. A few hours later it is ready and usually I add spinach to this dish. I forgot that spinach was one of the ingredients on this recipe. I do think the spinach makes it a lot better but for tonight this is what we've got and it still turned out quite yummy. For Saturday's meal once again, I am starting it in the morning. I love slow cooker meals. One of my favorite things about the fall is the variety of meals I can make in the slow cooker. So tonight I am doing some sloppy joes. We are having guests over for dinner tonight, so I am making a big, big batch. So I'm gonna cook up some ground beef, some onions, and some bell peppers. Once that is all cooked, I'm gonna add ketchup, mustard, garlic powder. I talked about sloppy joes in a recent video I posted and one of my subscribers commented and told me how they make their sloppy joes and they had some different spices that I don't usually use so I tried those out today. I put in some onion powder, paprika, and chili powder as well as some salt and pepper and a little bit of vinegar. Yes, I have a peri bottle, unused, was never used, that I use for a vinegar squeeze bottle. Trust me, it works amazing, so we've done this for quite some time. I didn't have quite enough ketchup on hand, so I did have to run to the store and grab um, another bottle of ketchup to put a bit more into this sauce. I will link the recipe for these sloppy joes down below. Just take note, I don't add the brown sugar, I just omit that. And then of course I mentioned some of the spices that I add that are not in this recipe. So this sauce, again, is going to cook all afternoon. I got some rolls out. We've discovered that we really prefer sloppy joes on dinner rolls rather than hamburger buns. It just goes over a lot better. Later in the afternoon, I chopped up a whole bunch of veggies, so I sliced up uh, carrots, peppers, cucumbers, and celery. I also made some homemade dip this afternoon. So here's a look at the final product, our sloppy joes, lots of veggies, as well as this delicious dip. So that was our week of dinners. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of those ideas. I will link what I can down below. Some of these recipes are kind of just um, my own recipe or creation that I've probably taken from a recipe in the past and kind of tweaked to how we like it. But what recipes I did use, I will make sure to link those down below if you wanna try them out for your family. Thank you for watching today. If you are new here, I hope you'll subscribe so you can see Every time I put out a new video, I do a lot of food videos, like full day of foods and grocery hauls, week of dinners, that type of thing, if that's what you're into. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.